Hello and welcome to another episode of me walking around. <laughs> so I decided my previous uh, outing with the easel, although I enjoyed it, the uh, easel was just not good enough, it's too low. <laughs> it's no good. Can't be painting looking down all the time. Well, maybe you can. I suppose I'd make do. If that's all I had, I'd make do. But luckily, on my back, <laughs> you'll see I have a French easel. If you can see. You can't really see. <laughs> that's the furthest I can go. There you go. And I've got a couple of canvases strapped onto my easel, well, trapped on my easel. Um, 18 by 24 canvases. Good size ones. I don't want to be piddling around with little panels or little sketches anymore. These are real man sketches. <laughs> Not little baby sketches. Man sketches. So, I'm out here. Ooh. And I'm actually looking for, uh, going for the water. There's a, a bit of a river. Oh, I tell you what, it's hard work carrying this easel. <laughs> Especially when you hold the video camera as well. Ooh. Oh, it's hard work, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I tell ya. So, before I go insane, I'm gonna make it to the water. Just, just over it. Um, so I always go through this woods. There's actually a lot of places to paint just within a short space, which is great for me. There's some interesting like roots, ivy roots and stuff and all sorts of interesting things. If you like being out in nature like I do, then it's perfect. <laughs> So I'm going in the open bit and then uh, I'll set myself up and I'll try and show you the gear that I've got this time. Well, actually I've got the same, <laughs> apart from the easel. I've got the same stuff. I've added yellow ochre into my palette, of course, though, because I did miss that. And I don't feel like I really need cadmium yellow because it's the greens are not that bright. I say that, I've still got it with me though. Um, so I'm gonna go for more of a simple palette colors. Yellow. Uh, speaking of palettes. <laughs> it just fell out. Oh, I've got to try and pick it up. Whoopses. Yeah, that's the problem. I didn't put the palette in the uh, easel because it was a last minute decision. Thinking, sod it, I'm gonna go for the big French easel, which is gonna work better once I'm there. Gotta get used to carrying it though, it's hard work. So I think top tip is not go too far with the uh, heavy easels. If you can park your car as close as possible, I guess, or just, just don't go far. <laughs> we're nearly there yet. No, it's a bit further. We, but we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Gotta think like a Roman warrior. They used to carry a big pack, didn't they? As they were walking to the battlefield. <laughs> So I've made it to where the first point. I was actually gonna go further up, but I really like this view. Got a tree, it's got this tree here, this foreground tree, and all this here. And we've got trees behind, then we've got those red trees a bit further. So I quite like that. So I'm gonna have a go at that, and then see where I'm at. 
<laughs> and I've got another canvas I can use if I want to. But it's really nice around here. A lot of different colours in the, uh, the trees. Ah, there's a hunting bird over there. Quite big. I can never take pictures of them though. <laughs> For some reason, wherever I go, they're the other area. They could probably see me as this uh, crazy artist. Quick fly over there, get away from him, he'll try and paint us. <laughs> right, I'm gonna set myself up now and, uh, and start painting. So I'm also up, I've got my easel set and what I'm thinking of doing is uh, painting the scene above so I'm going to be watching what's above me and painting in here so I can look, paint, look, paint. <laughs> Sky's looking a bit dark up there though. Again, hope it doesn't rain, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> So here's my palette of colours, uh, just got a few today, uh, vermilion red, yellow ochre, viridian green, ivory black and titanium white and hopefully that'll be enough because um, we can get quite a lot with just this small palette of colours and uh, we'll see if we can capture what's there. So this is what I'm looking at, I'm thinking of framing it something like that, but we'll see what happens. So I really just need to go for it, can't really worry too much. use a piece of paper to wipe my brush when I want a uh, brighter colour. So I'm just going to pick up some of the white. Just the white and yellow ochre. So long. Actually, it actually gets lighter again up here. So it's just yellow ochre and white, then ivory black, whenever we need it. Hopefully this doesn't come over here because <laughs> I don't want to get the sun down. Windy, so if this audio do not work, never mind. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not paying So we've been greeted by dogs and uh, now I'm just blocking in the sky um, the sky is changing so quick but um, <laughs> not a lot I can do about that, I'm just going to keep paying. So we need to uh, put this tree in now um, and try and work the whole painting in one go rather than getting bogged down because I can uh, easily get bogged down. <laughs> so on. So I want a uh, I 
that's not bad. Using our greys to dull things. We haven't got any blue going for this one, so use greys. There's more dog walkers. Oh. The yellow ochre in my green. It's not quite getting as bright as the green that I can see out there, but um, once the whole painting is massed in, then I can make decisions on changes like that. So the next thing I want to work on is this foreground tree. I'm just going to throw in some red, green, yellow ochre. Something like that. And we'll create the whole shape of the tree. Thank you. 
transferred in my my dark really that's just my my basic dark there is areas that need to be darker so I'll throw in just black and yellow ochre get some nice darks in here Good idea to keep stepping back as well. Notice that this, this comes out a bit further. I'm a little bit worried about the rain, <laughs> so I might paint a bit faster. So I need to make a brown, so I'm using this dirty colour. I think I'll go with yellow and red. There we go. Of course, uh, green and red makes brown. That's really close, that, actually. and then uh, get a better idea. see you could see so much when you look there's tons and tons of branches but you've got to uh, kind of edit out what you're not going to paint this is just so much I think we have to bring that tree out Something like that, and then uh, I'm 
Grabbing some red. So, so many different colours. <laughs> How uh, can I keep feeling that? I want light green, so I want really light. When there's a lot of area to paint, just you scrub it in first, like this, block it in, and then you can put your paint on top of that. It also helps to see your colours, <laughs> because like before, I thought this looked way too dark. Now this dark is there. It actually doesn't look too bad. I want a light, lighter green in front. My other brush. I need another brush. Quickly get another brush. Yellow ochre. Okay. 
lock that in. Okay, so that's that area blocked in. Let's go down. Okay. Need more yellow ochre. I've used loads of it. <laughs> Spots of rain. I'll have to paint quicker. We're gonna to have to be quick because the rain is, is actually it's actually started to rain. So we have to move quick.
decided for speed, getting the cadmium yellow out. make a nice grass colour, which is pretty close to that grass that's out there. Throwing in some of the white in this. Sorry, I'm not saying much in this one because of the, uh, the weather's just turned. I was just trying to rush the oh. helicopter with that. Um, but hopefully it gives you an idea of things. So I'm going to move on to a bit more of the Viridian Green and start putting in this area and there's just an absolute mass of different metals and things. And
throw my ivory back. back. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. Throw in my ivory black and we'll just I'll just create something. Almost all like standing up like this. You know you're in trouble painting outside when it suddenly starts to get a bit windier. <laughs> Just really doing an impression of um, metals. See a few of these. This area, there's a bit of a lighter green zone. So. It changes to a bit more, changes to a bit more reddish. So we've got a bit of a reddish green here. So I kind of go by impression rather than what you see. Well, what you see when you make an impression of it.
So I just keep stepping back and having a look. Looking at the whole picture. Well, there is one thing a plain air painter can't predict, and that's the weather. <laughs> it's raining, the wind gusted my painting over onto the grass, so uh, it may have affected it, but I might be able to fix it a bit. I quickly wrapped it up and uh, I'm going to get myself ready to leg it. Uh, but I enjoyed myself painting. I think I can fix my painting a bit when I get home. It's just one end, it got scraped. Well, it might have a nice effect. <laughs> we'll have a look. Anyway, I better get going so I don't want to get too wet. Thanks for watching this episode. I'll get it back fine and I'll take a picture of it, hopefully. Bye for now.